Okay, so first one is Patricia. All right, Miss Patty. There is a phobia that you're now going to have to face. It's been it's, it's been sitting there quietly for the longest time. But now that you're starting to know that you have the support system is leaving, then there's a phobia. And the phobia they want you to understand is that it's not really real, but the fear is that the lofty people are going to get you now because you've got nothing there and they're going to seem to get more aggressive. I want you to heal this pain out and this fear out. So that means you are going to do L3S, start to, to L3S nice and soft. And they said, they want you to notice and focus on all the people that have grudges at you, the, 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 how the grudges are coming at you. Focus on that, get it on a scale from zero to 10 and start to heal it out because it's based on reward and punishment. And they said, when you start to realize that they wanna punish, you're gonna go to L2S, okay? So you had L3S and now L2S. And notice and focus on how that reward and punishment game of communication is with you, okay? All right, so the next person would be um, Miranda. All right, Miss Miranda. Do, 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 Is that Christmas? I'm hearing some, um, a tune, and, and, and there's something that somebody does that's going to spin you out. It's like a habit and something they do, and you're like, ugh. Okay, so you, you're like, your body just says, oh my God. So it kind of like goes into karmic debt and you're like, it feels like it's failure and then hatred, you won't even know it. You're going there in a the hot flash from going to hey to Hurr! They said, begin to notice how it, it really has an emotional thing because it is you, you, it, you know you don't want to do it, but it's something you have to do something out of sympathy. So it's a little L1S, if you start to catch it, even if it's way after fact, get in there and get that feeling because it's a strong one and you're like i know i have to give up on my expectations <laughs> and i don't think you want to argue with yourself anymore uh i think you want to be done with, with it so it's definitely l1s okay that was loud and clear all right miss april april lynn miss april lynn finally 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 and then I, it's like somebody has heard you about how they're talking and they're blaming and you're like finally finally um and then there is this um they're pointing to the word wailing and awkward and distrust and 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 they're saying that i can't behave that way um she's witnessing she's watching she's watching something so if somebody in your space maybe having a panic attack or if somebody in your space has been doing those things and it is like you hear for the first time on another mere aspect how it looks like, ah, huh, they're invalidated. They are definitely acting that way because they're invalidated. So you're starting to see another side of the perspective and another side of the mirror. Good job. And then they said that there's a feeling of dread. Now this dread is actually causing you to have sluggish thoughts and sluggish feet and I said, where would you like them to pull out the dread? They says, well, the first thing you're going to have to do is get the triple one to behave. So they want you to do R3S, R3S to get it to behave. And that, and because right now that dread owns you. And then you need to do old pattern. You're like, oh, I'm rejected. So I'm a reality, but I'm going to convince myself. So a little L2S, okay? A little L2S. All righty, let's go into Lena, Miss Lena. Um, they're pointing right to the heart. They're saying, oh, I hate that. And it's like you're bringing up something where you had trust issues. And you're, like, ah, you're going right to back to a very specific point about five. And I says, is this really your reaction? No, this is other people's. This is something I want to stop. But when they when they act that way, my energy goes in and I don't want to I don't want to go in anymore. And then I start to worry and do things I don't want to do anymore. So you're living as a reactionary aspect. You don't even know that this is happening. You lost a lot of power. And they said that uh, you can feel how you're going to have to overcompensate. So R1D. Now, here's the thing I want you to understand. You're physically, well, when you get hurt, you start to limp. So you have to compensate by putting weight somewhere else. 
but you're not just doing it physically. You're also doing it in other areas. I feel like um, um, mentally and emotionally, you feel like you have to compensate because if we understand we're protecting ourselves because you, you're, they're asking you to look at where can you trust or distrust, talk about it, see it, it does, do people around you feel that way? And if you do, R2D, R2D, okay? Excuse me. All right, let me just double check and, okay, we're going, doing good. Nancy, Miss Nancy. All right, Miss Nancy. Unreceived, not my intention. False realities. Again, efforts are unreceived, love done received. And so I keep, now I feel like it's a feeling and you, you're like, I, but I can't figure this out. And they said that um, one of the key things is you're trying to figure out this next part, whatever it is, look at the word disapproval. And whether you see it, hear it or know it, there's a readjusting that starts to automatically happen and you may not want it, but your body is starting to do it anyway. And it's about rewards and punishment. Okay, rewards and punishment. Just kind of begin to begin to address it this way. And then when you do start to see it, they said L1D because um, you're going to be tapping in how the heart and you have rearranged your life. Okay, so now we're going to go up to Crystal K, Miss K. Crystal. All right. Oh, heartache. Self-abuse. Um, in this case, what happens is that the self-abuse they're referring to is you can't stop thinking about it. And it is just hopeless because you, your mind out of the 41 thoughts, your mind goes there. And I said, okay. And they said, it's, it's, how you had to put on a mask so you didn't feel it or at least let other people see it. Okay, they were going again. Uh, something about expectations depleted. So expectations, the first word I heard was failure, expectations, failure, but then it's like this just keeps depleting you. So we want to stop this loop. Yes. And it sits in the sacrum area and uh, S3 seems to really be bothering you, but it's like, I have to play this out. I know I want it to end and I need it to end, but I have to play it out because I have something. So like when this happens, just understand an example like this would be for all of those who are listening. Let's say you refuse to give yourself a break. I can't because I got a program that says I got to keep working. And so you push that body, push that body, push that body, or you push that mind, you push that mind, however you're choosing to do it, you're pushing it. And so then the body says, all right, I'll have to take over. And then all of a sudden it's like, I will get sick. I will do whatever because you won't slow down. You won't add me to your will of life. You will not make me a priority. So therefore, ugh. and so then the body takes you out because it's looking for a rest. It needs it. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Miss Amanda Gibbs. Okay, Miss Amanda. Oh. Um, they went right to the top and they said, there's a certain amount of uncertainty, but yet the copy tools are working. Now, what's interesting is you're redefining what love looks like. And now you are noticing that, um, you don't, Ooh, you're growing. It's like, I don't have to do something. I don't have to be miffed or I don't, you're watching something. It's like, I don't, huh. And then they said the timid the lack of courage and, and all of that. And it's like easily frightened. No, 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 just, just do I really need to readjust when that comes up? So I, I really feel like you're coming up to the thing going, okay, I'm going to ask questions, use my pendulum and I'm going to feel the pull and I'm going to heal it out. And I've got this and it. So this sounds like it's a great report. Okay, Amanda, so keep doing it. And you're like, but I don't have to feel small. Why did I really think I had to be feel small? Well, and so you're really paying attention that you don't have to do something. Now you can use heal, healing tools to remove the sense tense of those stories. So good job, Amanda. Okay. Um, Kelly, Kelly Johansson. All right. Miss Kelly. All right. They're looking and this has to do with some type of fear of judgment. And then you, then, um, um, you may have to redefine what sympathy is to you or sympathy to somebody else, because I feel like 
some type of definition is not quite right there and it causes a disruption. And so how some people are using it to get sympathy or whatever, it's causing a learned helplessness. Um, you know this and they said that you're chasing it down because you're thinking about a pattern um, and when it gets something about anxiety, Ooh, about anxiety, Ooh, I'm going back. I feel like I'm really stuck in this program. And when you start to feel the, the, that, you go into creating false realities and because it's like, that's what you know. So what you're repeating is eight years old and it's like, I, 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 and then something about readjust. And you, you're starting to realize that the love is a weapon, but why does the love have to be the weapon? So you're in a very inquisitive state right now. Okay, a very inquisitive state. Joanna Michelle. Yes. Okay, hon. Um, let's see. Joanna Mojo. Here we go. Um, speech. Phobia. So are you afraid to speak out loud or are you afraid to go on stage? And then body shuts down. Something shuts down. It's like even just thinking about it. Um, but it's not, it's really interesting because it's not about a, a phobia as much as you know how to deprive yourself. It's like it's built in. Oh, I'm supposed to deprive myself. So then all of a sudden it's like, uh, I'm an ass. Is it something you don't want to do? Uh, no. It is what I saw. I saw somebody else have it and I kind of looked back and yes, that's then you kind of identified it for yourself. But if you really were to let that go, you would find out that it's their issue and that you just were trying it on and you actually do have a lot of strength underneath. It's there's it's an incredible amount. You just wanted it. You just oh, you never thought of about about it before. And so it's like take a power of suggestion that you should have be a fear of speaks. That's why I don't really feel the phobia. Um, you want to heal that out? Then I would definitely say L1D. L1D. Yep, I'll get to you guys in just a, in a moment in the room. We're gonna go up to Miss. Um, Ms. Thor, hey there, would you like a few minutes of my Yeah, that would be good too. Let me finish these other two. And then um, we do have, um, hold on, let's see. Copy there, may or may not work. I don't know, probably not. That's okay, we'll do it this way. Oh, why is that happening? Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let me take care of that real quick and then I'll go to the next person, which is, um, well, there we go. Oh, um, somebody's just asking me a question. Um, I will, okay, I will get back to them. So Teresa, Teresa, Miss B. Okay, we'll get there. Um, your heart and your mind feel timid. And your mother has says, I think you're ready to deal with just the uncomfortable feeling about how those two are out of sync. So L1D, definitely for you. Your mama said that if you were to communicate, you would actually see a combination of things. She said she could help you. And there was something about expectation. And it just feels like it puts me in my tracks. I really could feel how I could stop. Um, but look at uncomfortable. And then it's like there was a convincing that there's just must be something wrong with me. There just must be something wrong with me. Okay, so then it's like that trained you to become incompatible. And it was like, then you kept yourself around the home because you didn't think um, that you were lovable enough and you self-loathed and therefore you kept yourself at home. You, you, it was a false sense of self-assuredness. So L1D for you, my dear, L1D for you. Um, let me get to the right screen. I don't see that one. Um, let's go on to the next one. And there's the, there's the room. So now we're going to do, um, Okay, so we will go, hi, here we go. Um, Miss Ellen, real quick, Miss Ellen. Okay, so your, your dream, there's a dream. And let me just look at something. 
when I'm, oh, where are we going with this? Then you want me to look at how you get peace when you have your dream and whether you're dreaming, dreaming, or you dream of what you want and you dream of having a marriage a certain way. Now notice that if the marriage is crappy in any form, then the body is going to um, check out. So let's heal out how the marriage feels to you. And so L3S, and if you're hearing sour graping, uh, define the word, look at it, what angle the energy of that is, and really notice how there is a belief to it, how it's just sitting there. And because the more your brain accepts and believes and gives its willpower away of how you can't let it go because you don't know how to make them stop, but you can make that program stop. Okay, sweetheart, you can heal, Ellen. I'm rooting for you. Oh, Rhonda, happy birthday. She's singing to me. Thank you. Yes, have a magical day tomorrow. Oh, I love you too. Thank you. I totally appreciate that. Oh my God, love it. Janet, Miss Janet. Yes, Miss Janet. Okay, Miss Janet, um, there's an energy about um, the word jealousy pops up. My, my gums hurt. That usually means about decisiveness or indecisiveness. Um, there's like, there's, a, a, oh my God, it's like you're forced to respond or something. I don't get it because I feel very timid, very discouraged. Um, I feel a very much of a lack. I just feel like I'm drained. Um, Somebody's siphoning energy off of you. <clears throat> you're, somehow you're doing it to yourself, you, how you feel. So you're meant to address this because in a way, you what you really have to address is feeling irrelevant, Janet. And, and, when, and it's like, I don't want to feel irrelevant anymore. And, you, and, and then you're starting to notice, oh, your veil's lifting and it's showing that you can see sour graping. You can feel how this is. Even as this stupid story, you're starting to notice something deeper and you're like, but I don't want to give up my expectations anymore. Uh, I'm going to say the very first thing is start to, to address it, to define it, heal it out. L1D, begin there, Janet, begin there. Miss Amber. Yes, Miss Amber, I will give you a one minute. Wishy-washy, I'm wishy-washy, I'm wishy-washy, wishy-washy, wishy. So notice, okay, if I am that wishy-washy, thank you, Spirit, for showing me what that means, what it looks like. Okay, great, thank you. And then when you start to bring it in, start to notice that it's comfortable. It's what's who you are. It's something about identifying. Now, either you you are it or you watch somebody that be that, but you're, you're like, ooh, I got to have this in my space. And what they're saying is that you're sitting there on an arrested development. So you haven't figured out an arrested development is like, okay, you can't see on top of the table because you, you just haven't grown anymore. But they're saying that as you start to notice, do I really need to be wishy-washy? Begin to notice if people do it or you do it, start to hold L2D to get rid of that. The L2D is about lack of power. And that's why you stayed in the wishy-washy. And as you start to break that arrested development and you're starting to just say thank you spirit for showing me how to act to respond how to be show me at the third option a new way as you start to bring in that new energy of how about yourself because your answer is there um give that a try and yes miss patricia i did give you a reading already i'll give you the time stamp in a moment deborah i can't remember if i gave you one or not give me another one anyway if that's the case Something about want, 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 want. Um, want to recall something. I want to recall something, but if I do, it's going to be, it makes me very muddled and insta insta my stableness goes away. So I don't know if you're trying to remember something, but what happens is your body is showing, no, we don't want to do it. We don't want to be discouraged. We don't want to go there. So it gets very timid. So you do a towards and away from, and you're like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So begin to notice that fighting that happens and the alarm that wants to go off in the body. Um, just say, okay, thank you, spirit. Uh, show me another way to remember. And until then, I want to heal out. So they said L1S, to sit there L1S and start to, okay, body, um, you're having an issue. Um, because it says, I'm going to have to do something out of sympathy. If you really listen to the feeling, whether it's anxiety or whatever it is, measure it and get it out. Okay. Get it out. You don't need it. 